so I'm working on this puppy dog called Minnie and I'm just going to polish it up a bit so that um, it looks super duper. Uh, we've got the base drawing that I've already done and there's some things that I didn't like about it so I'm going to tidy it up a little bit and, and then we'll do an evolution shot where you can see for yourself how the whole thing developed. Okay, so I'm now using a, a different color gray and we were working, if you remember, if you were watching the live series tutorial that we wanted to create this shiny black fur on this beautiful dog. So I'm not using white um, because their coats are so, so black and just black and a bit of gray. And I'm pressing down hard in areas where I want the solid black. Okay, so there's a little bit more work going into this than I normally do for a, a sort of cartoon. But the reason I'm doing that is I want to show you how you can feel happy overworking a picture and overworking is is great because every drawing you do should be looked at as an exercise not as aren't I amazing and I can't improve on on what I do you want to as an artist you want to always look for ways to improve your work so if, I, if you're overdrawing something like this you can actually learn a lot more even if it means you've overworked it does that make sense I suppose it should do um, and then what happens is your brain sort of goes oh well this is just a sketch it's not too precious and some really amazing art can come out of that sort of relaxing into a picture rather than thinking that every picture has to be perfection because art is there there are some paintings that are perfect uh, that's why we call them masters I often look at paintings when I'm in a gallery and I'm so envious of what they were able to do uh, but they didn't just draw and come up with masterpieces right away and that's really important lesson if you're ever going to be an artist you it is it okay there's hobbies and having some fun painting or there's taking yourself seriously just check what pen I'm on yeah I'm just getting that little glisten in the eyes and this is the beauty of overworking because um, now we are getting ourselves into a, a position where we're really, really observing. That's very, very important. Okay, so there's a bit more shine there. And I'm using this gray crayon. It's probably a little bit too harsh. I'm pressing down too hard. So I'm learning the whole time. But when you see this in evolution, you'll go, oh, wow, uh, I get what you're, what you're saying. So early on, you probably, you're going, eh, Andy, don't, don't draw anymore. You've got it, it's, it's finished. And then you kind of see how, how much it changes. And you can do this, you don't have to have a fancy Procreate app and an iPad. You can do this by simply taking photographs of your work as you work through it. And then what's quite nice is on your computer, when your photograph files, it probably allows you to do a slideshow. Has anyone ever used that? That is wonderful. It does it all for you. And you get to see how your work progresses 
with some nice music added to it. So always have a look on your photo album on your device and see if it has a slide icon or slideshow icon and then you can watch your work as if it was edited beautifully and it's all free and it really gives you a good idea of how you're coming along with your work whether you feel you're going fast enough that sort of thing now I'm gonna add a little bit of color right at the end I'm working off a photograph for this one and our beautiful model Mimi has got a purple collar on her. So you see how I'm overworking the nose now. And I feel like she needs to have a slightly shorter snout. Okay, that's starting to work now. So overdrawing is not a bad thing at all because I'm making lots of changes as I'm forcing myself to be more observant. Notice her eyelids come down a bit more. Oh, she's so beautiful, isn't she? And she has no idea how beautiful she is. I have two dogs at home and they do know how beautiful they are. They always look camera ready. They love having their photographs taken. They're also wonderful mice catchers. The downside is they keep coming across them in the garden, the, their catch of the day. Okay. So now we're getting a little bit more like it and I think I need some more black. I can see, I kind of measure off, I can see that there's a bit of light here and then up her shoulder, just there. Put some white in there and more black. So the app that I'm using has this amazing gadget, what we call evolution and it shows every time I put my pen on the canvas or the screen or paper, um, digital paper, it captures it. So that's why you get this. It's basically um, like a slideshow, but sp sped up so fast that it looks like the picture's coming alive. And we're very close for me to just show that to you. I'm just doing some checks making sure I've got this now. And I'm really pressing gently because I don't want to make it too dark. So she's, her coat's actually obviously black and then the light that bounces off it is more gray. Okay, so lots of detail 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 and then right at the end I'll do a little uh, cartoon for you of this beautiful dog which you can have a go yourself I'll make it super easy so if you want to learn how to draw a dog cartoon puppy I'll talk you through that now Divine. Okay. And the owner, Amanda, who I was interviewing the other day, she was actually left with lots of scratches because <laughs> Minnie, Minnie wanted to move. And I had asked her to sit for an interview and I never actually never really looked up to check that she was okay with being on Amanda's 
I was so busy doing the interview and doing the drawing that I didn't look up. And so Amanda reported back that she was actually really, really scratched. Oh no. Because they have those super sharp teeth, puppies. I lost, with two puppies, my now my dogs are now grown up. My two puppies, I went th they went through 10 pairs of shoes. Um, which I wasn't happy about. But, you know, dogs chew because they want their teeth. They need to uh, chew because that encourages the new teeth to come through. So I'm just going to put some a highlight here. I am literally copying from a photograph. So this is definitely how you can also do a drawing, a pencil drawing. Follow the same idea, overdraw, and eventually the picture will come together. So just enjoy it. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Keep copying. Just have beautiful big fat paws. You can see my... Johnny Scott. And I shall take a break. <laughs> 